Today on PTV Situation Room, we will be discussing the events that trailed this weekend and, of course, looking to 2019, which is very, very important. Lava Yusuf, you're welcome into the studios. Thank you very much. Yes, day, with the Atiku PDP member and, of course, with the Atiku, you know, organization. And, of course, we have here with me Akim, Akin Tayo. You're very much welcome. Here's with the much. APC much, group. Yeah. Now we cannot deny going straight into it. What happened over the weekend? Of course, let's 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 start with you, Akim. Let's talk about the APC convention, the 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 confirmation and you know consensus, you know vote by direct primaries of President Muhammad Dubari as the candidate. We saw it; it's very colourful. But one thing that stood out, I must say, is the figure that came out: 14.8 million. Yeah. Please answer the well, question on the matter. How did we come about well, that? Well, I don't know. As a journalist that mm. you are, mm. uh, you, I'm sure you know that we have about 15 million uh, registered uh, members of the party mm. nationwide. And uh, you know, it's even a credit to us because this party was just vetted in 2014. If I think I'm, if I'm correct, 2014 actually, a year before 2015. So within the last four years, we've been able to like. Uh, you know, uh, market ourselves, and we've got about uh, 15 million members. So, with the uh, 14 million uh, uh, votes that you say, so anyway, it's the one thing you should, you should know is that we, as APC, we are deepening democracy. We are, we know a lot of people castigate uh, Nigerian politics as being, uh, you know, shallow or being different from what is practiced from America that we copy from. America is, is practicing direct democracy, as in democracy that is in tune with the people. Mm -hmm. If you go to the two major uh, parties in the US, the Democrats and the Republicans, they go to direct primaries. The, 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 the aspirants go around the country, vie for, for, for votes, then the members of their party picked who they want, who as their nominee. So as the same thing, we, you know, we, we were, were changing from the usual, you know, uh, delegate, corrupt, mm. infested way of uh, you know no, uh, nominating a candidate. So it is a plus. We, we are deepening democracy, like I said before. We are. It's like we promised in 2015 that we are going to fight corruption. We are not only fighting corruption in government. We are fighting corruption in the party, in mm. the pro, in the party processes, the uh, and also deepening democracy uh, itself by allowing the people to to have their say, to to make the, you know their choice of who they want. To represent the party, like I said, the 40 million it comprises of people from uh, north, east, yes, west, no, no, and south. No, no, you no, no, quickly, are we yeah. trying to say that the APC has a, a, a register, like a full-time register of each member, each card-carrying member of the APC? Look, by I, the one let, who let me talk voted. for myself. Okay. I am a registered uh, member of the of my party. Mm. I registered in my ward, mm. and in every ward and state, there is a register. In fact, before I had to go from my registration, my uh, what I had to know who I am, I know that there is a register and you no know, application I have to, to do, mm. and I did it. Mm. So we have a register, and even before the direct primary took place, our national uh, party chairman, you know, uh, gave our regist register to all the all the all the all the, uh, the state chapters mm. to confirm the authenticity of the register we so we, there, there is a register for the party okay. so if anybody is is, is crying who and mm. uh, you know making noise about the figures i think uh, they are just afraid of what will happen to them in 2019. Mm -hmm. okay now yes. let, let's let's have your reaction there on this same issue mr about what do you think because the question is has been on the minds of everyone and he's saying that they have confirmed register you know of this amount of people that they actually came out in their words the stand behind president Mohammed Dubari and made this vote do you agree akim is my guy mm. and good day once again nigerians and uh uh, let me first and foremost mm. thank Nigerians for choosing Atiku Abubakar. Mm. You know, because Atiku Abubakar is a real person who makes things happen. He's not a Mr. Fix It. Atkin came here, why did he not bring the register or show us a website where we can, we can confirm the, the number? But mm. not for that. Mm. In, a, in a country where we have not done census, mm. do we know how many we are? Every year we say we are this, we are this. People jump from 180 to 200 million. Mm. Next year it could be 300 million. So, when you are not dealing with statistics, in PR you talk generally about analysis, planning, strategy, and then you, you, you get your budget right, you evaluate and get your expected result. What's happening? 
I don't want to call names. I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about issues. People will know. Hmm. You understand me? Hmm. In my place, they said, if you, you as a farmer, you made 100 hips, and you planted yam, 100, and you went to the village, you know, nobody, not everyone follows to your farm. Hmm. So I have 1,000 hips so it's, of yeah. It's what yeah. you show that everyone... Yeah, but when it comes to harvest season, hmm. and you harvest, harvest your 100, and at the end of the day, you finish your 100, and you ask people, can I get yam from you? But you you are supposed to have 1,000 yam. What happened mm. to the yam? Mm. So that is what Even is happening. That as the analogy. So okay. the, the situation is this. Uh, when you draw a comparison between the PDP primaries, full glare of the, you know, cameras, everybody was there, mm. you know, and it was secret. No phones. Mm. Uh, thank God to, uh, we thank Anne for that. Don't take your phone to the polling mm. boat. Mm. You know what I mean? Aha. That the whole thing was done. You could see Okoa, Governor Okoa did excellently well mm. in Port Harcourt, and nobody, nobody said no to the uh, election result. Mm. But when they said affirmation, when the Governor, uh, as Governor Fayemi, uh, Governor elect of Ogun State, uh, Kitty State now, when he said the nay, some people said no. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. So those who that said no were they a, 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 a part of the 14 million? Mm. Just, you're going to say 14.5 million, right? Mm -hmm. If you look at that figure, and the figure that the, the president got during that election, 15 million, right? So, doctoring things is not new. Hmm. People doctor pictures, they doctor. Hmm. People doctor okay, you, yeah, you, made mention, you made mention, before we, before we hmm. you know, um, digress so much, you made mention of, you know, the process that the PDP convention went through, and we saw... The margin, of course, that Atiku used in, you know, Bitten Tambo, who was, you know, believed to be the, the, the governor of the state's favorite. And, you know, that was a margin. But there's been, what is the place of, I was listening to, you know, one of the P, um, PDP members talking about the place of um, brown envelopes or in, inducement Dollar. and all of that. And he made mention of the fact that if you invite people to come and vote, you have to give them transport fare. Those were the words. So how would you say there's been accusations and counter accusations on the social media as to the reason why? We know of how, you know, accommodations for these delegates were sorted. There were a lot of inducement. Do you think that attributed to the margin, the marginal gap that we saw? I came here and knew that uh, I was head of PR during the presidential campaign for President Obama and Mahadu Bari. Hmm. We well, went for the primaries in Lagos at Teflin Balogun there hmm. in Lagos. Accommodation for how many, how many, how many delegates? Hmm. We all know what happened there. The issue is this. How can you say money play role where people are not... There in Lagos, people were quarantined. Hmm. Quarantined, marched, drove, driven straight into the place and instructed to vote for this or that. We knew what happened. Hmm. You understand me? But people came together again and said, okay, let's the country move on. But today, I said the issue is not about who has won or who has not won now. Now we have, like uh, uh, Pastor Bakari has said, that the issue is two egos to slug it out. Hmm. And who will be better for it? The country. We are in the, league, in the Premier League, political Premier League now. Hmm. So there is an exciting period for us. Hmm. You know, we know the whole thing inside out. Don't forget that same, it says, let's say, Atiku Abaka sponsored 14 of us, including uh, Malangar Bashel, who was my immediate line manager, to, do the, to handle the media for President uh, Buhari's uh, uh, campaign. Mm. Do you me? You don't joke with your team. If, at that time, if everybody works together, you have an Atiku on one side, Tinubu on one side, Okorocha on one side, um, everybody together. Today, we'll be talking about uh, somebody going to PDP, somebody go to this and that. We move forward if the economy is working. Mm. If I was still able to buy petrol at 87 naira, mm. if I was able to buy rice at 9,000 naira, mm. you understand me? If people are not calling me from the village to bring money, if my okay, friends are not telling that they are broke, hmm. you understand me? Let, let, let's so, have Akim react to the, yeah. the, what, the process that the convention you know, um, went through. Though, though there were no, you, you, you didn't see any backlash from the aspirants, everyone immediately, Atiku was declared the winner, you know, fell behind him. You know, but then uh, the processes and the accusations, what do you have uh, to say? Uh, Asha, honestly, <laughs> you know, when you talk about what happened on, on 
Saturday to Sunday, Sunday yeah. it, it, it was a big embarrassment to, 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 to Nigerians. Mm, in what sense? Yeah, look at it. Look at it. It's, it's there in the public domain. There was dollarization of the whole process. All those things, you, even, even before the result was announced, a particular uh, member of uh, a, a, a team, of, you know, one of the candidates, you know, uh, had to even tell Nigerians congratulations. He has already congratulated the Azum winner hmm. even before the, the result was counted. That is corruption. People were, we, we heard of people that were lodged in hotel, paid, I, we, even the calculation itself. So they say even his own man, yeah, his principal was alleged to have uh, bought over a delegate with ten thousand dollars. Do you know what can, that can do I, to I, fix I, our infrastructure? But then again, let's look at no, the no, for, for God's sake. That. For, for God's let's sake. look at the of ten thousand dollars with that amount yeah, of delegates. Yeah, it's about, it's about 40, 40, I think forty. Uh, no, sorry, fifty-four billion naira. That one can even build a whole university. That can even build about. About fifty kilo, uh, kilometers. I mean, you reconstruct fifty mm. kilometers of, of our of our bad roads. These people, they are people from the past that were used to in the past, and that is what this government is committed to change. Mm. You see, that's the reason why they left our party because they they can't they can't get used to the change that we have brought in. Look, you see, I'm so happy that we we adopted direct poverty. Mm. We we went, we went to the people. Look. Do you want our uh, our president? Is it performing well or not? They voted. They, you, can, you, you could see throughout last week, the governors were appointed as the electoral officer to go to all the states mm. and make sure the direct primaries was done. And the people have found that look, this man, Buhari is doing well. We want him for second term. Mm. We are not in told uh, the sharing of money. Even in 2014, we, the, there was allegation of even his principal paying uh, uh, delegates to buy votes. And they voted him out. They didn't. But now he has gone back to his vomit. So you know, I, another question we should be asking is, how can you trust somebody that has been jumping from one party to the to the other? Mm. He has been he, he has been uh, uh, ACN to uh, PDP from PDP again to APC from uh, APC. To, can you trust that kind of people? They, yeah. they don't, they don't and have and ideology, then, and that is what I, our, our party that. is committed mm. to change. Agreeing that, that that is, of course, the trend of politics in Nigeria. As yes. we all know, once, you know, our political interests no longer align, you have to move on to, you know, a better place where said political interests align. Quickly, about are you scared as a party, for example? We have the likes of the CUPP. We cannot deny that. We have the likes of um, Donald Duke coming out uh, uh, as, you know, the presidential aspirant. Don't you see these as a means of probably slashing... Is the PDP looking to have some sort of coalition with this set of people? Because like we know, it would take a landslide. It would take a lot to, to remove the incumbent from power. So what tactics do we have in the works? What should we expect? Well, I don't speak for the PDP mm. um, because the party has its own uh, spokesperson. Mm, yes, of course. But before answering your question, uh, Akim cannot stop to have missed me. But that's anything I would like him to withdraw. Mm. Because um, when you talk about the elderly, you need to show some respect. Mm. Because where he works today, it was created by people from Article um, Media Office. Mm. We know ourselves, we are together. So we need to mind what we say. Politics will go, mm. human beings will stay. Mm. Um, in actual fact, uh, why are you worried about someone that you say is no, it's a non entity? I don't want to talk about this issue. I want to talk, see, quality time, airtime means so much. No, we, we, we a, have to because me, these who, are. Who, excuse me, who is a democrat? Excuse me, who mm -hmm. is a democrat? Who has me to court 14 times mm -hmm. and won? Who stopped the idea of president sacking their VP mm -hmm. and governor sacking their deputies? No, but do excuse you me, just hold on. The emergence of these people said, no, are important to the electorate. I so, said, unless we address those issues, I said it is an exciting move. period. Mm -hmm. It's an exciting period. Mm -hmm. You must know the attributes of the people. One person is coming from a military background. Mm. The other person has been a, a, a Democrat. Since, remember, the man that stepped down for MK Abiola? Atiku. Mentored by Yaradu Atafida of Kassina. Atiku. Do you understand me? Mm. He was VP. Who, who brought it together the economic team that paid off the debt of Nigeria? Atiku. Who liberalized the, the, the economy? The telecom sector, the banking sector? Atiku. 
Please, this is not where we're not even tickling the okay, public. Quickly, what we want to course, do now, yeah, what we want to do, because I was talking about dollarization of the rest of the research. If you know where Atiko has stolen money, he has challenged the whole public. Since when? Why can't you come out and say that? You said that uh, you are, you are, you are, you are uh, combating corruption and the rest of it. The PDP has this form for 10 million. Yours was 55. Later, it down to 45. And you had only one. How can you contest against yourself? What are we? That was like. Do you understand me? Since you have agreed, just say uh, unopposed. So this idea of direct, what is direct in it? Who was your opponent? opponent? Who, were you, who was you contesting against? Apart from those people who said no. They said, confirm. You can't go to those states. Go to several states. No election was held. Even the wife of the president. Who would know the president more than the, the wife? Say the whole thing they have done is a charity. What's all you talking about? Okay, so I don't want to, we, see, we I don't want to respond to, to that particular. Yeah. You just talked about, um, you know, the economy, what um, Atiku is going to do economically. And we are looking at what Nigeria is going through. That's the cry of every Nigerian right now. So how how does does, does the administration try, will try to um, water down that effect that Atiku would not come and do something better for Nigeria's economy? Uh, you see, let me tell you, uh, Aisha and Nigerians, uh, if we tell ourselves the truth, for the past three years, this government have taken drastic, you know, intentional measures to revive the economy. Why, I'm, why I say, why I say uh, so is because, look at it. Before, we were running an economy that was based on oil. But when this government came, look, we cannot see. The, one of the reasons why we went under as it went into recession uh, was because number one everything was oil based Second, uh, number two the money that was to to uh, to be saved for the rainy days well maybe the global uh, price of oil will come down was looted was looted by by the members of his party and now this government came and said look Let's, there are potentials in agriculture, there are potential in mining, there are potential in uh, the services. And that's why they liberal. Now, look at what the government is uh, doing by giving loans to the poorest of the poor. The traders, look at the vice president going almost every day to a different market to make sure the man that is selling uh, guguru and all, uh, or, or crayfish have small loans, 10,000 era. 20,000 era to be able to like expand their business. That is economy. No, so not, people, not, people, no, not the bogus one. Let me tell you. He talked about, oh, uh, so many things were achieved under his uh, principal when he was vice president. The same uh, principal he's talking about was vice president when uh, uh, Nigeria Airways went under. He was there. He, they, they, they superintended over Nigeria when corruption was, uh, we're, we're number one in, in, in corruption ranking all over the world. You, they, they, they were there when people were stealing uh, in, in, in NMPC. What, 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 what are they talking about? Okay, okay. Then now, quickly, um, when with the, with the back and forth, you know, with the present administration and Atiku, what he had done and what you know he had been through, how the corruption, you know, tag came up, and then you know, from the United States. He didn't States allow me the, to finish. No, I, I, at this he, point, you know why? You know why? Because he, 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 he said he, he said. Hmm. Uh, if, they, if there's anybody that have, um, uh, you know, uh, corruption allegation against mm. President Chukoma, it's there in the open. The United States in 2006 did um, uh, 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 an investigation on uh, political exposed persons mm. in well, Africa. And, he, that and no his principal is. No, him. no, of course. Mm. I, I, I wish I, I have. Um, uh, maybe I, I, I have. No, I mean, the minister, the minister you, of Justice. I've replicated the, mm. the, the, the petition, as in the allegation against his boss. So that you know, that's why his, go, that. his boss was not able to go to America since then. He has been banned. He, he said, oh, uh, you know, he cannot go to uh, U.S. embassy to, to force himself. Look, the reason is that people like him has been banned from coming to the U.S. because they have corruption issue. And uh, if he steps into U.S. today, he, he might be arrested. So that's why this is okay, the he's talking about the allegation, allegation against his board. Let's talk about facts. Might be arrested is not a fact. 
a fact is that the Ministry of Justice at there has come out to say there is no complaint. There is no official Seriously? complaint. Seriously? Yes. Actually, no, 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 no. no, no, no. What, what I'm saying is, is we'll be we'll be making um, um, accusations and pointing fingers with facts. We're not trying to malign a person. No, I, 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 we're not. It's now. not about Alan. It's, it's a public Aisha, domain Aisha, issue. Aisha, it's not Aisha, about uh, Aisha, Aisha. Me, uh, comporting Please an recall, issue. Recall my phone for me. Mm -hmm. I'll show him. He needs political education. Nigeria will not go down under the Amazon Joe administration. But we went to, uh, we Excuse me, it. hold on. I was there in London when the banner agreement was signed. That is BA Nigeria Airways. We were doing ovation. We had a contract with Nigeria Airways. I knew when they lost in 1998, when they lost their, their, their office. They couldn't pay rent. Number 12 country street in the western of London. I feel sad to be here sitting and talking about things like this. I, I, I need to talk about issues. We need food on the table. We need employment. It's talk about characters. Hmm. Who creates jobs? Who can get it? Who you, the country has never been this divided before. Killing is all over the place. What are we talking about? How many times did the Buhari go to America before he became president? And when does, it, does that become an excuse anyway? The Trump come here, come here. The Obama come here. It's colonial mentality. What are we talking about? We're talking about a situation where when Ibori went to uh, Dubai, if the Interpol wants you, they pick you up. Atikuha is private jet. He travels everywhere, goes everywhere. If he doesn't have it, if, he, if he's having a crime, a, a, a problem in America, how, 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 why, how come he sold his house? You don't say things under, undercover. There's no bootlegging. He sold his house that he bought there and made a lot of money out of it. Do you get my point? He's, he successfully established a university. He has Nico, uh, Nico Gado, the lifestyle. When we're talking about uh, ranching and the rest, he might solve problems. He went and they, he created animal feeds. Nico Gado, you have in Numa Road, in Adamawa, you have in uh, Udu here, in uh, Abuja. One of the top statesmen in this country said one thing he loves about Atiku is that his investments are here. He has Adama, Adama beverages that produce 40,000 bottles uh, of bottle water per hour. He employs, he has, he has a microfinance company that empowers so many women. 80% of their loan goes to women. You're talking about giving people 10,000 naira. Can that feed you? Okay. No, excuse me. No. His economy, no. excuse me. Let but, let excuse let me. Let if, me if Trump is to have come from Nigeria, why should our country be talking about poor person become their president? Will Trump have ever become a president in Nigeria? Excuse me, what are we talking about? A situation where, excuse me, a situation where your country has been designated as the headquarters, the center point of poverty in the world. That's shameful. Okay, now let me let me start by the last uh, statement you made. Talk about poverty capital in the world. The question is, if their administration, that his boss or his principal, you know, uh, worked as a vice president, had provided or created jobs, enough jobs. Because take it or leave it. Every year we have about about 1.2 million youths, you know, graduating from NYC or university, you know, into the labor market. If his his PDP, his, his party, and his boss had, had created enough job, who have uh, so many people unemployed? And you're talking about poverty. Cap this is statistics of uh, from uh, 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 19, uh, 1990 to 2017. So it's not about uh, APC government. It's about the generality of the leadership so, uh, thus far from 1990. So the thing is that then during that time, instead of creating jobs, he's talk about uh, well, oh they create they, they liberalize the, the economy, blah blah blah. Sorry to say that, but it's a blah. But the point is, uh, the other is under 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 their watch as VP, instead of being the VP, they spent about 16 million dollars on power. And what do we get for it? Nothing. Many Ajokuta, they spent they spent billions of naira to 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 to, to so-called revive uh, Ajokuta. What went? What, what was the result of it? Nothing. Up to today, Ajokuta is still packed up. What? I, 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 he's talking about uh, the, uh, you know uh, creating jobs. Uh, yeah, his boss creating jobs here and there. The point is, how many people as you know, his so-called uh, uh, companies or firms created. And another question we should ask him is, what is the source of the wealth of his boss? 
He was in customs. He made a lot of money, both legal and illegal, to, 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 to so called uh, 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 form companies and uh, through Prozzi and the rest of them. Even the house in US, it was through Prozzi that he sold, the, he sold the, the property because he he has been banned from coming to the US. Okay, quick, quick, quick question. Let, let's talk about the facts. Let's talk no, about no, no. I need to address this. I need to address this. No, you see, um, I don't like talking about personality. I have. Mm. I have a lot of respect for President Buhari, mm. and I don't destroy a temple I have to, uh, to build. Mm. If you check, if you Google, you see the number of articles, the number of appearances I made on TV mm. in support of Buharism as a culture that must be nurtured for the future. Mm. Why did I say that? I believe in a dream. I believe that a team should work together. But since the president did, uh, discarded his own team, mm. and that's why the, the dream is now slack, and that's why he can't sort enough steam to look after the people. Mm. Talking about all the things talking about, I uh, privately I was educated most other things because uh, it's not it's not proper here to. Mm. But I would advise that whenever you speak, please be on point. Mm. Like, you say you will change things. You say you will change things. Mm. You say something was bad. Everybody on the basis of change. You say three million jobs per year. Bureau of Statistics have come up to tell us that over ten million jobs have been lost. I'm talking National Bureau of Statistics. So, that's why the people are already in employment. What happened to the three million jobs? You say, okay, but where are the jobs? You keep complaining, how much is oil sold now? You increase uh, a price of uh, from 87 to 145. Nigerians never protested because they believe in this dream. They say no certificate. Nigerians believe that we don't want certificate. We want somebody that will fix it. We talk about Boko Haram and insecurity in the country. He said, this man was able to clear Mr. Sine. He would do it, a general. Today, Nigeria is terribly divided. Okay, now you're talking about 97% and 5%. Mm. You find out that out of 16 head of security agencies in Nigeria, 14 are from same area, one, one area. Who does that? Talking about the benchmark in yeah. which Atiku is riding, you know, to 2019, mm. restructuring. Before I allow um, um, Alabak talk, you know, to us about their plans and more of that, mm. I, I know you're in the know about, you know, the, the, the angle in which they're, they're looking towards, do you see that as a threat to what President Obama is talking about? that's talking about restructuring mm. is just, uh, you know, increasing the noise, the political jingles of uh, 2019. As in, what I mean is, it's just political noise making in order to curry the, the, the sympathy or the attention of Nigerians. And look. Okay, saying that, does that mean that you can't deny the fact that Nigerians need restructuring? Is that what that means? See, to say even that? our party promised restructuring. We promised to restructure Nigeria. And restructuring Nigeria means taking Nigeria from where it was in 2015 to a better height. Restructuring Nigeria to make sure the people feel the impact of democracy. Restructuring Nigeria by fighting corruption. And you look, even there are some policies they even initiated, the PDP initiated, like the TSC. But because of uh, uh, their uh, uh, usual way of you know managing corruption, feasting and and uh, with corruption, they couldn't they couldn't first, you know muster the the courage to implement it. And now that TSA is saving us a lot of billions of naira, the, about forty. 40, 47,000 ghost workers was discovered because of implementation of TSA that they created that, that they couldn't even implement. Because we are, we are our own is pro people, pro masses. So the point is, look, uh, they talk about, uh, okay, now let's go back to the, uh, the topic about uh, restructuring. Mm. It's not that our party doesn't believe in it, we believe in it. But we have to, first of all, clean the August table, as in the mess they've created. To talk, to, uh, they, they, they will start talking about fiscal federalism and maybe uh, talking about uh, how much can go to the state, mm. then maybe how much can come to the center. Mm. And but first of all, let's address the issue of poverty in the land, mm. not uh, a topic that we just uh, become uh, maybe a political uh, topic for just a political season. Okay. You get now, what I'm saying? Uh, I'll allow Alaba um, react to that. Uh, he, he's saying restructuring is taking fiscal federalism uh, or, or 
as their definition is taking a back seat for now because there's a lot for them to deal with. Do you agree with that? And, and what is Atiku, this is two question in one, what is Atiku looking to do with restructuring, being as not just looking for the sympathy of Nigerians? Well, uh, I sympathize with my friend and my brother here. Yeah. You know why? why is it that? is difficult to defend the indefensible. Hmm. You cannot advertise what is not available. It's difficult. The vice president has tried it. It is not easy. When you have your, your plan and you're not going according to your plan, this is a heterogeneous society. Nigerians have always boasted of the unity in diversity. Where is it today? Are we unified? No. The fact, you're talking about restructuring. If all 14 of heads of agencies are from one side, is that, is that a workable restructure? That's a fractured structure. When you go to the word grammar, is the orderly arrangement of words in a sentence to make sense? Okay, so what, Sentin, in question, a, what, what line is article 2? Oh, hold on, let me break into, you know, let the layman understand what we're talking about. Mm. Grammar school. That's where you're able to arrange words in orderly manner to make sense. In political structure, if it's orderly, everybody will be happy. In a federation, you have component units, the states, coming together autonomously, leaving foreign affairs, defense, uh, currency to the federal government, whereby the states pay, they, they own their resources. They pay tax to the center. So the center does not become excessively like you have it now. How can you say this is federal government road in my village? Do you understand? Do you, do you get the point? Do There's I fire in Abakaliki. You say, so what we're talking about? Mm. If you have policemen who serve in their, in, in England, you have the, you have the, the constabulary. Bobby's on the beat. They are local people. They know everybody. Everyone knows. Do you know there's hardly crime in the villages? Why? Because everybody knows everybody. But when you bring a Zafara policeman to go and operate somewhere in a okay, so Do you hear me? The evolution of power, police, community police. Hmm. Whether you call it regional police, whether you call it a state police. In England, you have it. You have the you have the metropolitan police. You have the uh, constabulary. You have. You, uh, uh, Yorkshire police, you have all sorts of places having their own police people. So why is it so difficult to do that? Mm -hmm. Why are we talking about physical, why should people not have their ownership of their things? Well, we're talking about Jakarta, I was laughing because he doesn't have any knowledge of it. I was, I was manager of communication and strategy in Jakarta, 2005, 2006. Yeah, there are so many. So, the, uh, excuse me, no, 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 I need to take this. Because he's talking about, he's talking about, see, we're talking about, are Nigerians better off today? He said we were taking Nigeria to a greater height. Mm. Are they be better off today than they were in 2015? Let him answer that question. Okay, fine. I will definitely answer that question because I'm even happy he asked that question. Uh, Asha, are you better off in terms of security <laughs> in, in the 20, in comparing 2015 and now? I like how you asked no, that No, no, question, no, I'm, 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 ask no, you know, you know I'm asking you mm. because in Abuja, where your studio is, mm. I'm sure in 20, uh, before 2015, we, you, maybe you, you, you will be scared or you might have been scared of coming around or going to your office or going for, for your uh, uh, you know, usual business every day. There was bombing in 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 Yanya. There was bombing in uh, Banes. But the, the no, no, it's too late. See, no, 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 no. Let me, let me. No, but, but uh, in 2014, in, in, in 2014, no, let me finish. Let me. No, no, no. In 2014, about 18 local government was under the captivity of Boko Haram. That was under PDP. Now, let me even uh, talk about uh, research. Let me go back to the topic of research. I want to ask him, why didn't your boss, that served as a vice president, number two citizen in the country, you know, move, advocate for restructuring when he was vice president. If not, thank you no, very no, much. No, 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 you ask a question now. You ask a question now. Let me finish. You ask a question now. Okay. Let, 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 let me finish. Uh, uh, then you can answer. Now, he, he, from all his um, explanation of restructuring, I, I, I deduce the point about uh, you know security. You know, maybe. Uh, uh, decentralizing the, the security uh, network and also maybe uh, tests of payment of tax mm. by either by state address of them. Let, for God's sake, 
some of these things were practiced in the sixties. Hmm. What happened? We, we, before, before we, we had we had a decentralized government hmm. under Tafawa uh, uh, Belewa. We had uh, about uh, I think three regions. We had three. We had uh, north, the western region, and the midwest, and you know then. And what happened when police was handed over to the, to the to the regions? They, they, they misused it. That's why when the British came, they said, look, we have to decentralize the, the, the police so that we'll be able to monitor what the police does. If you, if you remember, or if you can recall, what happened in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the southwest region when uh, Akintola and uh, Aulo had issue and that, and that now resulted to 19, uh, 1966 uh, 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 civil war. It was all because of uh, 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 police in the hands of the, the governors in, 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 in the region. Yeah, so what I'm, say, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, what, no, what I'm saying, what I'm mm. saying is, imagine you give uh, uh, the, the uh, police to somebody like Wiki or Ganduje. Hmm. He will not allow. Yeah, he yeah, will yeah, not allow his opponent to come before, to 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 to, 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 to and, you know. No, that's the point. Then she should then she then she then she be mindful. Uh, 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 the topic is uh, just vague. Aisha, Aisha. The structure is Please, just vague next, for them. Next time, <laughs> I I would like us to have a conversation that is very civil. Mm. That's that's why defamation, libel, these are things I know about, because you don't try to defend your position and uh, insult other people. Your liberty ends where other people start. Mm. Um, most of the things talking about is too young to understand them. So I'm, I, I can excuse him. <laughs> because the, many of the things talking about that the British came. It was the military that turned Nigeria into a unitary federal, a, a federal state with the creation of 12 states. Now, that's the point from there to that. No, you said you said the same letter. You said the British came. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, just accept it. It's no. a slip. Hold on. No. Can you I just can explain myself more? You now said mm. that um, my boss did not move the idea of uh, restructuring. Mm. Atiko has been on restructuring since 2004. So if you don't know, please Google it. And uh, the vice president, current vice president that's there, Professor Oshimajo, has been an apostle of restructuring. How much does a spare tire have? What role? How much role? When, whenever the president goes away and the uh, Shimajo is acting, the country moves a little bit. <laughs> and when he comes back, they, re they reverse everything he has done. You understand me? That's what you call VP ship. Excuse me. That's it. Excuse that, that's me. Excuse Libelos me. It's you know? not Libelos. I'm just saying to you. No, no. You, you, you don't. Are you don't. My, my principle. Yes, excuse me. You don't. If you don't, you need to understand it. So what we're saying here, let me just say, I don't want us to see. If you want decent argument, let's all talk about how will 2019 electionary campaign affect the lives of Nigerians? How will people be able to have food on their table? Mm -hmm. How will people be able to clothe their people? How will they have shelter? How will they be able to send people to their children to call quality schools? Maybe how will people go to school have gainful employment? You made a particular statement. Mm -hmm. Now, trying to sign out, Let, let's start with you. Without deviating and going uh, yeah. let's tell the electorate what to expect from APC. We're looking at you saying that in 30 seconds. For 2019, what are the electorates our own to is, expect? Our own is to make sure we make, like I said before, the poorest of the poor benefit more from the government, mm. which they are currently benefiting right now. Mm, okay. With a lot of, there are a lot of programs that the, that, the, that, 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 that the government have uh, rolled out, mm. the SIP program, mm. That is giving uh, uh, five thousand to the poorest yes. of the poor. Can I have okay. No, yes, yes. 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 Uh, and uh, trade money. Mm -hmm. And you talk about uh, the uh, 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 SIP teachers. Okay. You know, people employing people who are unemployed, who have been mm -hmm. left in, in the dark for by the PDP government. Right. So we are we are doing a lot, and we're going to do more. All right. We're then. going to make Let's sure we wipe out Boko Haram <laughs> that they, they couldn't wipe out when they were in power. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you. Um, the Yorubas will tell you that anybody that spent three years. To learn the art of being crazy and cannot take his madness to the market square, then such a person is just deceiving the public. What we can tell the generator of the people is that you now you have a democrat, a job creator, people that will give a, a unifier. So, and uh, where the world best comes in, the world's good and better, they become mere misnomers. Hmm. 
that is that what is. article is all about. Oh, that, that is one punchy way to definitely say that. Thank you so much, Akimaki. So, and Tayo, it has been a wonderful, wonderful time. And of course, Alaba Yusuf, it's always a pleasure. Your, your, your very um, popular face on PTV Situation Room. Thank you so much for taking out Thank time. Thank you very much. And now you've listened to the both of them, <laughs> members of the, the major opposition <laughs> parties of um, the country. And looking to 2019, of course, we would expect that the electorate do what is right. They've listened to what each man has to say. Vote the right person. I won't say any more than that.